I'm now going to show you how to create a sundial using ArtCam Express. I do have a couple of the modules installed. As you can see here, I have a vector pack and bitmap layers. This is to enable me to create multiple bitmap to vector images, just so I can have quite a complicated part. And I've also got texture toolpath installed because I'm going to create a texture toolpath on the center of the sundial. So I'm going to create a new model, and this is going to be 500 mil square and 13 mil thick. So I'll OK that and just wait for the new model to start up. So I'll just zoom in here and I'm going to create a rectangle. Just create a rectangle there. This is going to be 25mm wide and 100 high. The center point is going to be 0 and 100 high in the Y. So it's just moved it up there. And I'll just zoom in here. And I'm going to create a polyline. Go to select that corner, select the midpoint, and then back down to that corner. And I can delete my original rectangle now. Go to just select this jagged edge and close the vector with a line. So that's just close the vector. Now what I'm going to do is press N for node editing, and I'm going to press I here and I here. It's created two new nodes. Just draw a box around those and press S for smooth. Make sure that I click this maintain smooth curves and select the two smooth curves and just move those over there. Just so it creates a wavy effect. And I'll create two new nodes here by pressing I and I'll create two here. Select these middle ones and move these to the left now. And then select the top ones and move those to the right. Just so it creates a wavy effect there. And just escape my node editing. I'm now going to select this vector and I'm going to do a block copy rotate. I want to select rotate copy. The number of objects that I want to rotate is 12 and I want to do it around the centre at 360 degrees. So I'll just apply that and there we have the basis of a sun. Now I'm going to create a circle within there and this is going to be 110mm diameter. And I'll press F9 just to centre that. Now I'm going to select all of these vectors, just drag a box over all of those and I'm going to use the well vectors tool and this will just trim all the inside bits off so this is starting to look a little bit like a sun now I'm going to create a couple of circles one 100mm diameter and press F9 to center that and I'll create another one which is going to be 310mm diameter and I'll press F9 to center that one as well now I'm going to offset the Sun by 1mm just move this down here and select 1mm and I'm going to offset outwards I want to keep the vectors sharp I don't want to delete the original vectors and offset that there. Then you can see if I just zoom in, there we have an offset vector. I'm now going to offset this circle here, and I'm going to do that by 5mm, and it's going to be outwards. And I'm going to create some text now. So I'll just zoom back out and click text. I'm going to change this from Arial to Times New Roman and I'm going to keep that at 50 just select there and I'm going to do some Roman numerals so I'm going to go from 12 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 
9, 10, and finally 11. So those are my Roman numerals. I'm going to keep those selected and I'm going to select this outside circle. This fly out menu, wrap text around a curve. I'm going to select above line and I'm going to change from 0 to 5mm above the line. And I'll just rotate this around here so the 12 is on the point facing 12. And I'm going to move single words around. So I'm just going to eye these up, move the 10 round to there, and move the 9 to there. Just move these round, move the 7 round, move the 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, and finally 1. So I'll OK that. And there we have our Roman numerals for the sundial. And I'm going to offset this circle here by 30 mil outwards. So it just creates a border between my text. You can see I have vector layers and bitmap layers. So I'm going to utilize this by selecting all shortcut for that is control A and I'm just going to shift select the outside sun just to unselect this. I'm going to move all of these vectors now to a new layer so I'll right click and move vectors to new layer and I'll just rename that to sun just for the time being. I'm going to turn that off by selecting the light bulb here so there you can see this is now just our offset sun. So I'll just zoom in a little bit and I'm now going to import a bitmap. So I'll right click here and click import. I'll just find the folder where I have my picture and there we have my picture. So I'm going to open that. There you can see my picture there. If I just zoom in on the picture, just so you can see, for instance, this swirly vine here. If I use my bitmap to vector tool, just move this over here. And if I click reduce colors, if I reduce that down to two, as you can see, because the image, the quality is not that great, I lose this vine. If I move it back up, there you can see, I'm starting to get a little bit of the detail back so I'll just do it at 10 colors and I'll OK that. And what I'm going to do is link these colors so it turns the grays into black so with black selected as my primary color I'm going to right click on the grays and then click this little button here and it will link it. Right click on the next gray and then click that button there Right click on this grey, click that button there. As you can see, it's starting to turn the greys into black. So I'll right click on this grey, link that. And I'll right click on this grey, link that. I think that looks OK. So I'll just zoom back out a little bit. And the speckle size, I'll change that to say 5mm, just so it doesn't pick up any of these holes here. And I'll create vectors. So I'll close that and I'm going to now clear this bitmap layer just so it doesn't show the layer. So I'm just going to delete that part there and I'll just select everything. And I'm going to transform these vectors. So I'm just going to place them in between this part of the sun. So I'm just going to do this freehand. So I'll just move this up here and I'm going to rotate the vector around like so. Move it around that way and apply that. 
let's just make it a little bit smaller just click here I'll hold shift and alt and then move and it will keep a constant scale just make it a little bit smaller and then just move that up here I'm just going to move that in there just move this over I think that will look fine there like so so I'll accept that now I'm going to do some vector clipping so I'm going to trim this vector that I've just created to the circle here so select vector clipping and just move this down here so I'll just select outside because I want to clip the outside and I want to trim it so I'm going to select all of my vectors I already have the Sun selected as my clipping vector and then select clip vector then you can see that's clipped the vector there to the Sun I don't need this Sun anymore so I'm just going to delete that and I'm just going to tidy up these vectors as you can see here that's meaningless so I'm just going to delete that and as you can see here as well I have vectors overlapping each other there so I'm just going to move these out using the arrow key just so I can get a v-bit cutter in later just delete that part there and just zoom in here just make sure that this one's okay and we have another vector here just move that upwards just so it creates a little gap in between and that should be fine there so there we have our floral vector I'm just going to select all this and then I'm going to do a block copy rotate so I'll select block copy rotate and select rotate copy number of objects is going to be 12 and I'll apply that and that's rotated that round the Sun so if I switch my Sun vectors back on there you can see it's created a floral pattern around the Sun so it's starting to take shape now what I'm going to do now is to import another bitmap and I'm going to import a flower PNG file this time there you can see it's created a flower I'm going to create a new vector and just select this as my vector which is going to be called flower and I want this as my default selected layer I'm going to just do exactly the same thing now with the bitmap to vector I'm just going to select that as the only visible layer so I'll just do bitmap to vector this one's going to be quite easy just select straight down to two colors I'll just switch these colors around as you can see the black is the secondary color so I'll left click on it to make it the primary and then right click on the white to make that the secondary color and then click create vectors I'll just turn off my bitmap visibility here and there we have a flower so I'm going to transform this flower and I'm going to set a width of 40 for this and apply it so there we have our flower I'll just zoom in on that I'm going to select the whole of the flower and then click group so it becomes one object I'll zoom back out and I'm going to switch my Sun back on and select my flower which is in the center here and I'm going to shift select the outside circle and I'm going to paste the longer curve just move this box over here specify number number of copies let's say 30 and then paste that there I'll close that and I'm now going to transform the flowers so I can just delete this flower here and select this group of flowers around the outside and click the transform button I'll transform it to a new width of 460 and I'll apply that and I'll close the transform tool now you can see the flowers on the outside of the sundial finally I'm going to create another circle this time with a diameter of 465 just preview that and then press F9 just to center that there we have the finished sundial just put the floral vectors on this is now ready to be machined 
So I'm going to go onto my tool paths here and as you can see I have a texture tool path module installed. So what I'm going to do is create a texture tool path within this circle here. So I'll click texture tool path and I'll just move this over here. Instead of whole model I want to use selected vectors and the tool that I want to use is a free mill ball nose. So I'll come down to free mill ball nose and select that there. I use the default values from the tool and I'll calculate now. If I go into the 3D view then you can see the tool path in red and this has created a texture for me there. So I'll go back onto the 2D view, close this dialog. If I click this drop down here you can see I have a texture tool path. Now I'm going to do some V-bit carving. So I'm going to select the sun and the inner circle and I'm going to select here create V-bit carving and under selected tool paths select the carving tool which is going to be a 32mm 120-degree V-bit. If you keep an eye here when I select the tool the maximum depth the program will actually work out the maximum depth that this tool can get in between these vectors. So if I select it, it's created the maximum depth of 6.346. So if I just click calculate now, it's created a tool path in between these vectors. Okay, so now I'm going to do some more VB carving. So I'm going to select everything, but I'm going to unselect all of the circles and I'm going to unselect the sun and the inside circle. Go onto my tool paths and select create VB carving. Make sure your selected vectors is selected. The carving tool this time is going to be a small VB 6mm 90 degrees and it will work out the maximum depth here 2.7 and I'll click calculate now and this will create the tool path just to create the flowers, the text and the floral decoration on the inside. I'll just close this VB carving tool path there and I'm going to select all of the circles. I'm just going to do another VB carving but this time is use a profile along a vector. So I'll create profile tool path and here I'm going to select along. Make sure selected vectors is selected Instead of 13mm deep, I want to go 1.5mm deep. The profiling tool, I'm going to use the same 6mm small V-bit. So I'll select that there. And I'm going to select Calculate Now. So that's created a V-bit tool path along those vectors. And finally, I'm just going to select the outside circle. And I'm going to create a profile again, but this time on the outside. The finish depth is going to cut right the way through, so it's 13mm, this is to cut the piece out. And the profiling tool, I'm just going to use the largest tool that I have, which is a 16mm mm and select that, and calculate now. I'll just go into the 3D view, and I'll just rotate that round, and I'm just going to simulate this for you. We can do this by either clicking here, or I could right click and simulate all tool paths. So I'll just click here and that's simulating the texture tool path and there's the V-bit carving on the sun. This is just doing all the intricate V-bit carving with the small 6mm cutter for the, all the floral decorations and you can see it's looking quite nice. Starting to do the flowers and the text for the sundial and there it's finally cut the piece out. So there we have our sundial. I hope this was useful. Bye.